Hey there, Cancer. Welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading for the week of July 6th through July 12th. In this reading, we're going to look at past, present, and future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, the main energy that you are going to be coming across this week or the one that's going to be the most difficult for you to deal with is the Seven of Swords. Walking away from something, giving up on something, turning your back to something, or having someone do this to you. We'll see more once we clarify. In your recent past, you get the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, the Eight of Pentacles. There's something here that you're passionate about. You want to move in this direction. You want to make something happen. You're very, very confident um, that you can make whatever it is that you want to happen, happen. I see you wanting to put in the work or being able to put in the work. This could have to do with a relationship or this could have to do with your job or a business. We'll see more once we clarify, but either way, you're very passionate about it. You have the confidence that you are going to be able to do this and achieve whatever it is, and you know that it's gonna take some work. So I see you wanting to put in the work and wanting to build on this and create something. In your current situation, you get the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the world. There is a lot of anxiety about a possible earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that things have ended with. You have a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, a lot of pain um, surrounding this ending with this person. And if this isn't an earth sign, it could just be someone that was very nurturing, very caring, made you feel very cared for, okay? In your near future, you get the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. Lots of resistance. These two cards are all about resistance. So you're resisting something, you're pushing back on something, you're kind of like, no, 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 I don't... You know, you stay there, I'll be here, um, but you're juggling something. So it's this resistance energy with something else also showing up. So we'll see what that is when we clarify in your near future. But let's start off by clarifying the Knight of Wands in your recent past. What is this Knight of Wands about in the recent past for Cancer? There you are. Knight of Wands is clarified by the Chariot, the Emperor again, and the Page of Pentacles. You want to move in this person's direction. I see you again showing up as very, very confident. You have a lot of passion per for this person. You are very confident. You're not showing very many emotions, but these two cards, both you showing up in your power, feeling like you're energetic, you're confident, you know you got this. Um, and again, the Emperor, very powerful, very confident energy. These two cards are letting me know you want to move in this person's direction. Again, could be a uh, earth sign. You want to move in their direction. You want to make things happen. There's a lot of passion there. And I see you taking small steps to making this happen. This isn't going to be, you know, um, you running, swooping in, but it would be something like a text message or shooting someone a DM or, you know, uh, letting their friend know, hey, can you pass this message along to so-and-so? right? Small steps showing up in your recent past. Let's take a look at the emperor in your recent past. What is this emperor about in the recent past for Cancer? The emperor is clarified by the ten of swords, the ten of cups, the king of cups. Wow, Cancer. Okay. Lots and lots of love, lots of emotional happiness with this person. Um, so underneath it all, I see you showing up in the energy of, yeah, I got this. I'm good. I got this. You have a lot of love for this person. You care about them a lot. Um, I see you showing up as the king of cups here. So whoever this person is that is these feelings are associated with, there's a lot of happiness, a lot of love tied to them. But I also see an ending here. So it could be that you guys were separated. It could be that, you know, something happened. An ending shown up here, but this energy of love and Happiness is tied to this person and that hasn't gone away despite the fact um, that something has ended here in your recent past. Let's take, oh, too many cards, Spirit. Um, let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles in your recent past. I did see the Two of Cups there pop up with the cards that uh, the universe decided to flip out. We'll see. If the universe wants you to see the card, it'll see that you'll you'll see the card. I've had it plenty of times where I just pick them up, I put them back in the deck, and then the universe is like, no, no, you were supposed to see this, so we'll have this come out again. In 
The Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the Sun, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I told you guys I felt like there was a separation here. Something ended. The separation is showing up. So either you are re-experiencing this, this separation or you want to work on this separation. You want to bring something back. You want to work on either the emotional pain, um, the either healing this dynamic that you are currently separated from, from this person, or healing the pain and the emotional turmoil that comes from this separation. You want to bring about happiness in this situation. And you feel like you have the ability to fix this or work on this with this person, and that's what's going to make you happy. That's what's going to bring happiness into the situation. And also, it could illuminate some stuff. The sun is a card about illumination, bringing things to light. And it could be that by working on this or by being open to working on this, you and this person might discover some things, um, bring some things to light that maybe you guys did not discuss in the past. But I see you having a lot of passion for this person and I see you actually making something happen or having an intense desire to make something happen with someone that you're very passionate about. Let's take a look at the nine of swords in your current situation. What is this Nine of Swords about in the current situation for Cancer? Nine of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Strength. There was a decision here. You made a choice in the past. There was something that you chose. Um, you had different options. You made a decision here. Um, in your current situation or you're making a decision in your current situation to pursue a new beginning in love with this person whoever this person is again it could be an earth sign or it could just be someone that's very nurturing you're making the choice to actively pursue a new beginning in love to start anew with this person and there is a lot of love here that you have for them but it's stressing you out and i can see that it's stressing you out because it's difficult for you the strength card is showing up letting me know that this is not an easy thing for you to decide this choice is not an easy choice for you to make and it's difficult for you because also, again, there is a separation here in the past. The pain and the separation are clearly showing up. So that could also be another reason why you may have some anxiety, some fears around pursuing this new beginning with this person and why it could possibly um, be coming across as difficult. Um, let's take a look at this Queen of Pentacles in your current situation. What is this Queen of Pentacles about in the current situation for Cancer? Yep, definitely something's happening here. You got two aces. The Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords. Basically very, very similar energies. You want to make something happen here. You've gained the clarity that you want to take action towards this person, whoever this person is. Um, you want to take action towards them. You want to make something happen. But again, it's showing up as very, very difficult and you being very much in your head. So literally, same energy showing up. Um, you want a new beginning, you want to take action, you want to make this happen, but it's hard for you and you're stressing out about it. You're all up in your head with the what ifs and should I, should I not, and all these um, thoughts which are probably making it very difficult for you to move in the direction that the energy is pulling you in. And this could be you, this could be your person, um, but this is your reading, so I'm putting this one on you. Let's take a look at the world in your current situation. What is the world about? The world is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Fool. Again, you feel in the current situation that you are stable. You're independent. You, you kind of have everything that you need. You do want to pursue this with this person, but you're showing up as like, yeah, I have everything that I need. I am stable. Like, I have my own foundation. I'm taking care of myself. I'm focusing on me. But there's a conflict showing up for you here. And I feel like the reason you're experiencing this conflict, then this doesn't come as an external conflict. This isn't somebody else bickering or fighting with you. This is internal conflict. The reason you're, you're so conflicted is because on the one hand, you get this energy of, I got me, I take care of me, I have everything I need, I don't need anything else. Like you have the world at the bottom, which is kind of like, I have everything that I want in this world. Then on the other hand, you have this energy of, but I wanna take a risk. I wanna take that leap of faith. I wanna make something happen. This energy is tied up to taking this leap of faith towards making something happen, bringing something back um, or pursuing this new beginning in love with this person. That is what this energy of like, I want to take that risk is showing up for me as. And so you're torn between I want to take the risk, I want to go pursue this person and I have everything I need. I don't need them. I'm independent. I'm single. You know, I got me. So that's kind of these two energies are kind of opposing and they're creating a bit of conflict for you in the current situation. Let's take a look <clears throat> at the Seven of Wands in your near future.
Seven of Wands is clarified by the Justice, the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. You want to create balance in the situation with this person. Currently, because of the separation and because I'm assuming the energies are not balanced, there's a lot of like, there could be anger between the two of you, disagreements. You guys could, you guys could just not be talking at all. You want to restore balance in the situation. There's two cards here of wanting to restore balance, the Six of Pentacles and the Justice. So you definitely want to reestablish balance energetically in the situation with this person. You want to bring the energies back into like a grounded, solid position. However, you're also juggling the energy of being resistant to this, okay? And this resistance, Cancer, is stemming from these like thoughts in your current situation, these fears. You get the Nine of Swords at the bottom here. You get the Eight of Swords. These are all thoughts that you keep feeding yourself. You're like, oh, but it won't work, but it, it might not work, but why would it work? But this happened in the past, but you know, um, this happened with this and they said this and I said this and there's no way this is going to work and this person never wants to talk to me again. And so despite this immense, immense energy of like, I want to restore balance in the situation, you're also juggling the energy of being resistant to it because you're having all these fears and internal thoughts um, about it possibly not working out or about it being so difficult and like, why even try? Let's take a look at this nine of wands in your, in your future energies. The Nine of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, again, the Knight of Cups. You want to communicate with this person. You want to talk to them very badly, but you're, again, you're resisting it. You're pushing back on it because of all these fears in the current situation. It's really interesting, Cancer, because this reading is almost circular. You got the same energies in your current situation in both of these cards. You're getting the same energies in the near future situation in both of these cards. You want to restore balance with this person. You want to talk to them. You want to communicate with them, but you're resisting it. And you're showing up with the Knight of Cups. That's a lot of love. You really care about this person. You have a lot of love for them, okay? And you want to communicate with them, but you're pushing back against that. You're resisting it. You're like, no, 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 I'm not going to do this. Let's take a look at the Two of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Two more, please. Two of Pentacles in the near future for Cancer. The Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Temperance, the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. So I see you slowly moving away from this energy or this desire that you have to give up on this. The Seven of Swords is the main energy you're coming across this week. And so I see you very, very slowly. Both the Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles are telling me this is going to be a very slow, very like long process of you slowly moving away from this desire that you have to, to give up on this situation. You're still juggling some resistance, but it's not a lot. It's diminishing. Let's take a look at what energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Cancer. Whoa. The energies that you get are the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. This is a commitment. This is definitely a commitment. You want this new beginning in love with them. You want a new beginning with them. These are two cards of a new beginning with lots of emotion and an actual tangible new beginning. So it's not just like energetically, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna pursue this. I see you actively moving in this person's direction, moving in the direction of this commitment, opening up emotionally and making a new love offer to this person. Um, so cancer, very interesting reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found that this reading resonated, please do me a huge favor. Give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to drop a comment below and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out with YouTube. And of course, thanks again for tuning in. I will see you here for your reading next week. Bye cancer.